so now coming to DI Siddharth, you got a 98th percentile score with a D84, right? That's a yeah. brilliant, brilliant improvement. Uh, for somebody who's uh, done GCE, that is the classic GMAT uh, prepared for IR there, and yeah. um, coming to uh, GFE, the focused edition, having to prepare for DI, what, what, what were the major differences and challenges that you anticipated getting into the DI prep? Yeah, so like back in the classic edition <clears throat> for the, I, I really equated that to the IR part only, the D, DI, as, my, as much I got uh, familiarized with that, uh, uh, studying about it uh, online. Uh, I, I equated that to the IR from the mm -hmm. classic edition. But then the thing was that with IR, it was not that integral part mm -hmm. of the overall score itself. Uh, back in the classic edition, but now it is actually an equivalent section to content verbal in your mm -hmm. overall score. So mm -hmm. it has to be uh, taken more seriously in this uh, focus edition, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And also back uh, when I was giving the classic editions, I did get a perfect score of IR8 in my last two attempts. But then uh, for that, uh, in terms of prep, I didn't go through much prep as well as like it wasn't absolutely necessary for you to get all the questions correct to get the IR8. It was mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. if, even if you are yeah. skipping through a few questions that are taking long time, uh, they're taking you a lot of time, you are still able to get that score. But then uh, with DI and doing those 21 questions uh, in the 45 minutes slot and because the questions do get a bit lengthy when you are mm -hmm. actually doing them. Mm -hmm. So uh, a proper framework in terms of preparation and getting familiarized with all sorts of what all question types are there mm -hmm. and uh, getting uh, a proper, uh, what to say, uh, a proper pra sort of practice for all of them. And uh, that's, that was very necessary. And uh, in that term, in uh, in that terms, I'd say eGMAT really provided a good mm -hmm. framework in, with the concept files, the application-based co concept files, which mm -hmm. really reinforce all the concepts learned in form of the questions I was attempting for, uh, mm -hmm. for all the four <laughs> sections within DI. So, yeah, going through the curriculum with the application-based learning that it uh, reinforces. So, that really helped in terms of giving ample practice for all mm -hmm. the uh, types of sections within DI and uh, yeah, so it is starting with an unfamiliar, uh, starting with an unfamiliar section itself, uh, getting into an unfamiliar territory, the course really helped in that way in terms of giving ample practice of mm -hmm. all sorts of possible questions within the section itself and uh, basically mm -hmm. giving enough practice of both uh, math related and non math related yeah. questions, which is actually necessary. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, got it. So, it. so just uh, I think what you said was beautiful because DI being the kind of subject it is, it needs a lot of application based learning. You yeah. need to be exposed to different kinds of data set, different kinds of questions, familiarize yourself. That familiarity is important to be able to finally do those 21, 22 questions in that 45 Absolutely. minutes, right? Um, and just doing the course itself, that there are over 350 questions, just the course apart from the question bank. So that gives you that exposure. That said, the amount of effort that you put in, the diligent effort that you put in, the I just want to show our viewers a small screen which shows the kind of effort that you put in. This is your uh, GITA course attempts. This is just the foundation um, uh, course, as in where you're learning your concepts and applications. And look at your grades here. This is stupendous, right? A grade across across all the learning levels means you were taking the right steps towards success. This is really brilliant, right? So um, yeah. it's a, it's a linear uh, relationship from strong foundation to strong practice to great score, right? And yeah. this yeah. sort of this 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 uh, screen tells us the kind of effort that you put invested into building that strong foundation, which right. is really really brilliant. Uh, now, Siddharth, coming to <clears throat> the DI part, uh, so did you refer to any other sources or did you find the course on the EGMAT sufficient for all your DI needs? No, I did find the course on EGMAT itself to be sufficient mm -hmm. to cover all sorts of possible questions that I could see on the exam day mm -hmm. in all the topics. So that way, the given that the uh, section 
itself is this new and mm-hmm. uh, i really appreciate that ed mat has absolutely covered all sorts of possible uh, ways in which the questions can be framed on the dr topic mm-hmm. covering mm-hmm. giving equal importance to both math related and non math related questions uh, in both you can say the data sufficiency questions in the msr as well as in the mm-hmm. two part analysis that i actually saw on the exam day as well because mm-hmm. uh, yeah so because Uh, when i was giving the official practice test i was not seeing those many non math related questions mm-hmm. but i did read about it somewhere from mm-hmm. the actual experiences of the test taker that they were g- g- surprised so as to see too many non math related questions on the ex- mm-hmm. actual exam day but thanks to the question bank that was there on this collerium on egmat uh, egmat's uh, di collerium that i i would say that i had ample practice of even mm-hmm. the, those non math related questions so they weren't that much of a surprise so yeah mm. that's yeah. that's heartening to know that you know yeah. uh, the course equipped with you with all the tools that are required for a brilliant ti absolutely score, right? yeah so you weren't surprised with anything that happened during the test yeah. um, so now coming to the the overall structure the way you did di course right you you mm-hmm. you did your foundation which we just saw followed by cementing so can you tell us what role did cementing play in actually uh, reinforcing what you learned and getting to that top score sure sure so yeah so basically when you are doing those concept files and then the application files you are basically mm-hmm. uh, sort of uh, fam- getting familiarized with the sort of questions that can be there but there is not actual pressure on you i, mm-hmm. I mean i i did have the pressure of like uh, the the study plan gives those benchmark grades that have to be mm-hmm. achieved in these files mm-hmm. and i mm-hmm. really took that very seriously so that uh, i i am not lagging behind in those uh, grades itself but yeah but then when uh, we get to actual cementing right after completing those concept files and application files i'd say that doing those uh, 10 medium questions or 10 hard questions in and i'd like to do them uh, do uh, i like to attempt them in the standard timing uh, mm-hmm. in, in, instead of the relaxed timing mm-hmm. and uh, if i am able to uh, achieve those uh, benchmark scores there as well like to complete the cementing step i think that really boosts the confidence as well as gives you uh, an assurance on your approach to a, to the question that you are doing it in a way that you are able to solve it and that too in a timely manner and uh, basically the time pressure won't get to you in the examination mm-hmm. when you are uh, going for these questions so that way cementing really like as as the word suggests it cements your approach for those questions and mm-hmm. uh, yeah and builds the assurance for that so okay. yeah, that so- way cementing it got it so here is here is here is another image that i could show to really uh, you know <clears throat> show you the kind of uh, effect that cementing and the whole scholarium the data driven approach that had so this is tpa right so yeah. you can see that this is just your hard questions so your accuracy went up from 50% to a brilliant 80% in tpa right 80% yeah. is a 95th percentile right there right yeah. and also at the same time your time fell right? right so the fact that you mentioned the kind of focused practice allows you not only to increase your accuracy but it also allows you to reduce the time right yeah. uh, so that is really 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 good uh, 